Brian Barry, GAA editor at Brian G. Barry. Desi Farrell says Dublin are in an uncertain situation but adamant they are unconcerned about pressure and relegation. Dublin manager Desi Farrell discusses his team's 2-11-0-12 defeat to Mayo in the National Football League, we're not concerned about the pressure. We've a plan and it's a bigger picture around trying to be really, really competitive come the summertime. Perhaps the unwelcome records Dublin have been setting in recent weeks say as much about their stunning success over the last decade as they do about their current struggles. But they still make for grim reading from Desi Farrell's perspective. Recommended. One fifth. Grand National. Henry de Bromhead surprised with. Weight given to defending winner Manila Times. Read more. Recommended by. The Sky Blues are winless after three games in the National League, and are engaged in a relegation fight. It took Mayo 18 consecutive games without a victory against the dubs before eventually trumping their rivals last August, and now the Westerners have made it two on the spin. It is the first time since 2001 that Dublin have suffered three league defeats in a row. Further stats aren't needed to hammer home the point, Dublin are on a downward trajectory. And they are in a relegation battle in Division 1. If you get caught up in the pressure of league points and the struggle for survival or whatever it is, it doesn't lend itself to the types of performances we want," Farrell reflected after the game. Mayo triumph at Croker to inflict more woe on winless dubs. 14-man Monaghan salvage Armagh draw despite McManus red. We're not concerned about the pressure. We've a plan and it's a bigger picture around trying to be really, really competitive come the summertime while Introducing the new players that we have been through the league and getting it to a point that we've those younger lads properly immersed and embedded in the squad and remaining really, really competitive and that's the name of the game for us. We just look at it case by case, game by game and almost to the point of training session by training session and day by day. We're in an uncertain situation at the minute and all we can do is keep working hard and keep working hard and keep trying to learn from previous performances in Take it one game at a time. Well look at the tape again and figure out what we were doing wrong, what we were doing right and try and bring those learnings. With us the next day. Lagging behind. He acknowledged that his charges are lagging behind the competition at present. Obviously Mayo are really well set up, well organized, in great peak physical condition and are on a trajectory that's set to continue for them, I have no doubt about that. We're lagging behind a little bit in that regard so we know we have work to do," he continued. Some of the younger players, it's a big step up and there's a lot of learning for them to understand systems, game plans, that type of thing but they're trying really, really hard. They're really keen and eager which is great to see. Attitude is spot on and to be fair the senior players have been great to embrace so many new players into the squad and obviously they're great teachers in their own right so. Overall, we're very happy with the dynamic and what everyone is bringing to the table, it's just the performances haven't been where we'd like them to be. We're probably lacking a little bit of cohesion at the minute but I am very optimistic that will come and it has to come. And the winless start to the campaign is a new experience for all members of the panel. That's a challenge for them and it's also a challenge for the senior players who probably find themselves in uncharted territory as well but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and I think that's the approach we have to take," said the Na Fianna man. There's great opportunities to learn and grow in this period because this is something new and definitely some of our senior players are out of their comfort zone having to deal with this type of situation in these circumstances but they're taking it on the chin. Nobody's feeling sorry for themselves and it's all about getting back out on the practice ground and working on the areas that we need to work on. The Sky Blues still have Con O'Callaghan and James McCarthy to return to the side, and Farrell confirmed the duo are recovering from injury. Next up is a trip to Newbridge next weekend to take on Kildare. Rooted to the bottom of the Division 1 table, Dublin are in need of a win.